Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another Mecha Domination video for you guys. This one's going to be on rallies, specifically what will make your rally better and how to make sure that you win consistently. So a lot of people, uh, including me previously, you know, uh, would start a rally thinking, oh, I got this, and then they didn't. So this is going to explain what could have happened and what you can do to make that better. So first thing you're going to want to take a look at for rallies is going to be your rally command center that I've got here. See, mine's currently level 26. So if you click on it here, it's going to show you the different rally capacities for levels. Mine, I have 640. Now, one thing of detail I do want to include here. When it shows you your rally capacity, that does not include your troops. Meaning, when you start a rally your troops will be added to that number. So when I start a rally, if I have, say, 110,000 troops, instead of it being 640 total thousand, it will be 750,000 total because my troops are extra on top of it. So if you're ever starting a rally, send a full army, it will not stop other people from sending troops because it's extra on top of it. So that's the first thing. Make sure you level this up because every time you level it up, you get about 40,000 extra, sometimes a little bit more, especially once you get to the higher levels, you start getting like 60,000 extra. So that helped a lot being able to have more troops. The more troops you have, the easier that winning is going to be. But another thing you want to pay attention to is actually what bonuses are going to count. So pulling up rallies here... Da, 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 da. Sorry, we had uh, an event today, so I've got a ton of... Okay, it's actually not going to show me because it, I have too many reports. Um, when you start a rally, an offensive rally, meaning you're attacking something, you, as the host, your stats count towards everyone, meaning your research your beast stats your equipment go towards the people in the rally meaning if i start a rally and then the top player in the server joins my rally he will have my stats not me have his stats so you want to pay attention to that so if you're going to start a rally it's going to go off of you so make sure you have good military tech over here or research over here you know, that you got this leveled up, all these extra stat boosts, you know, get an extra 12% here and there uh, for all of your troops the best that you can. That way you can deal the most damage and allow everyone else to as well. The other thing you're going to want to look at is beast skills. So say I click on, uh, I named him Spiky T-Rex because that's what he looks like. Say I click on my nemesis here. And I've got an ability like this. All units deal 20% more damage and raises fighter defense by 20%. So now, with me being the rally leader, the other people are going to get this skill to go towards them. So, that's one thing you want to think about when you are hosting the rallies. Make sure you have your skills leveled up. Because your skills are going to count for them, as will your beasts. So that's one thing that uh, is going to help out a lot too. Make sure you have those leveled up. Make sure you have your research institute leveled up. The other thing you want to pay attention to is actually the level of troops. So I can't show you in the reports because all of my reports have now been pushed out by the Mechanized Menace. Um, since I have a bajillion reports since I was reinforcing like five people during it. But uh, essentially, level 25, so if I go over here to the, let's see, oh, I guess right now it's Seraphite Invaders. So you can see it, you know, 41 million here for a level 25. A level 25 is going to have level 9 troops in it. Meaning, if you have level 8 troops, you probably do not want to be rallying a level 25 because now your troops are weaker than its. You want to have, I would recommend having at least the same level troops that it has. So if you're going to rally a 25, have level 9 or 10. 
Can it be beaten with level 8 troops? Yes. Does it take a lot more? Yes. Now, level 20, so which is one step down, you can see the suggested might at the bottom goes down a lot. This only has level 8 troops, so I recommend 8 and up for this. Like I said, you can beat it with one level lower. Definitely would not try it if you have two levels lower. But just the lower level your troops, the more stats you're going to have to have pumped. Um, now, another thing to think about with this. So you have your, like, okay, we can pull some of these up. You know, they can have 540,000 troops joining or 830,000 joining. But what you want is you want quality over quantity. If you have 500,000 troops, but they're all tier one, you're not going to do much. Now, if you have 300,000 tier 8 instead of 500,000 tier 4, that's going to be much better. So, I always ask when I start a high-level rally, I'll put in chat and say, look, send me tier 6 and up or tier 7 and up. Because those are the ones that are actually going to make a difference. Now, one thing as well, when you're starting normal rallies, you can see it has 58 slots which we have 100 members. So that's, you know, that's half of the alliance here. That's a big amount. Now, the limiting factor really is not going to be, like you're, you're never going to get 58 people to join a rally. So the limiting factor is going to be the amount of troops. So what would be better than sending an entire army with low level troops as part of it would be sending just the high level ones. Send just your tier sevens your tier 8s, your tier 9s, your tier 10s. Don't send the lower ones because that then allows someone else to send theirs. And if you don't have high troops and you still want the rewards, something that I haven't really seen hardly at all in this game, but I've seen in other games, send one single troop. Doesn't matter what tier it is, send one single troop. You'll still get the rewards, but you won't affect the outcome of the rally. So if you ever want to join in on a rally and you're not strong enough, you don't have the high enough troops, send a single troop, and it will not affect anything, but you'll still get the rewards. That's just a little secret tip that I've used from other games that has been very effective, very helpful. But so pay attention to the level of troops you're getting. Because like I said, it's better to have 500,000 total troops, but have them tier 7 and up, than to have 800,000, but having tier 2s and tier 1s and tier 3s in there. You want to have those better troops. That'll allow you to win much more. And then the last thing that I've got for you guys, when I look at a rally to see if I think it's possible, I think about, okay, what is my total troop count that I can have? I can have 640,000 troops join. My army is 110, well, it's probably like 115, 117,000. We'll say 110 just to make it simple. So 640 is just under six times the amount that I can send in one march. What that means is, if I click on this, so you can see suggested might, 41 million. Okay. If I pull up my army, and this is where it gets a little complicated. I'll try and keep it simple for you guys. But so, rough math, I have about 12 million here. If this is 41 million... We'll round up and we'll say that that is four times what my army is. Now, my total troop count is almost six times what my army is on top of mine. So that adds up to if I fill my rally, I should be able to win. If it is four times or less, you have a good chance at winning. If it is more than four times what you are able to send, you're going to need high-level troops. I always err on the side of caution, so if I see something that's more than four times you know, my army strength, I'm probably not going to try and rally it unless I know that there's a lot of people on that can send high-level troops. Now, like, like I said earlier, you can win these without high-level troops. You know, if you completely fill it, you can win things that you really 
would never think you could win. But that's just my rule of thumb to guarantee it is, so, okay, if I send 110,000, and that is one-fourth of what this damage is, I need an extra 440,000 troops. Just rough math. So that's four times my army. So that would add up to about 550,000. If I get 550,000 troops, and they're all, you know, tier six and up, I can eat, beat this easy. Now, if I fill more, if I fill all the way to 760,000 or whatever I have, then it's an easy win. But that's how I like to do it. I like to think, okay, logically, how much is my army of this, and how many troops do I need? You can just simplify it and say, okay, if my army's a fourth of this, and I can fill my raid, you got it. But keep an eye on how many troops you can have. If you have 130,000 cap because you're low level, you're not going to win a big thing, even if you can, you know, even if you have someone strong join, you need to be able to hold enough troops for people to join. So um, I know at the end that was a little bit complicated. If any of you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer and clarify. If any of you have any questions not related to rallies, I'm also happy for that. And let me know if you have any other videos or anything you want me to make. I hope this is helpful. Hope we can get those rallies for everyone. I'm not saying that people are not doing good at rallies. But just to help, I hope that we can be more successful overall. Uh, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will see you guys next time.